Look, before we go in, I respect your intention to back burner what's between you to stand in support of Elizabeth. But this is tricky emotional terrain. The guilt she is feeling is crushing her soul. Now it's compounded by her weakened physical state and an unexpected pregnancy that's got to be knocking her for a loop. I'm her brother, and she knows she owns my unconditional love. She trusts me, and it's pure, not complicated by anything. So I'm asking you both to let me take the lead in here. It's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. Good. Elizabeth. That You've been doing all the talking here. Now it's my turn. Okay, so I'm gonna say what I need to say, and after that, if you want to kick me out, I'll go quietly. All right? Okay. Okay. Ever since you've been shot, I've been sitting out there in that waiting room practically 24-7, yelling at myself, drowning in a sea of remorse and regret, and and I deserve it. I am not by any stretch excusing what I did. But I'm still your mother. And I love you more than anything in this world, and you know that. And you need to know that this distance between us, it, it hurts me. Okay, so you can, you can be angry at me. You can refuse to talk to me. You can refuse to acknowledge me. But you're going to have to do it to my face. All right, and for the record, I may have made the biggest mistake of my life last summer when you came to town and you told me that you were here to take down Sonny, and I didn't just, I didn't just tell you the truth right then and there. But I also managed to raise an unbelievable man who makes me proud every single day. So I know that I did something right. Maybe when you shot my boyfriend? I know the thing about anger. I've dealt with it my whole life, and I know that it dissipates, and you're, you're able to see more clearly. I was just hoping that you can see me more clearly. Oh. Oh. Wow, that is so ironic, because I actually do see you very clearly, Sonny, for the first time in my life. I can see past the smile and the good manners, and I can see that the words blood money aren't an exaggeration, they're a fact. You kill for what you have. You were gonna kill Dante. And, and I can't make an excuse for that and, and I can't pretend that I'm gonna forgive you or ever understand because I don't. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> 